Hi everybody, we're getting ready to go on a family bike packing trip and we're going to show you how we prepare. All of you parents out there know it's a little bit harder to do everything with a kid, but that doesn't mean it's not worth doing. So today we're going to show you the steps that we take to prepare to go bike packing as a family. Since little Dusty can't ride a bike yet, we've got to find a way to bring her along with us. Burley is one of our partners and we're going to be towing little Dusty in the Burley Cub X. Little Dusty and Tess will be with the Cub X and I am trying out the Burley Coho XC for the first time. We've got a few upgrades we want to make to them to make them ready for our bikepacking trip. Right now the Cub X is in stroller form. It's got 20 inch street tires on it and it's got the front little casters. We're going to convert this to bikepacking mode by running the 16 inch plus wheel kit. This puts 16 inch plus tires on there with a off-road tread and uh, I think that's going to be better for what we're about to do with this. We can air it down, get a little more cushion, but this trailer does have suspension as well to make off-road travel easier as well. We're also going to convert it from stroller mode to bike mode by attaching this little tow bar. All right, for this trip, Burley sent us the 16 plus tire kit to put the plus tires on this trailer. That allows us to run a little bit lower pressure and to have a knobbier tire for traction. Now these don't have brakes or a drive mechanism, so the traction's really just for cornering. We don't really need much else. One bummer about this, these are not tubeless compatible, which is a big shame for us here in Arizona. We run all of our mountain stuff tubeless. I would love to see this be tubeless compatible in the future. I also wouldn't mind a 20 inch plus tire that's a little bit taller, that rolls a little bit better, but I don't know that it would fit on our model anyway. But that aside, we're gonna make this work. Let's at least put some sealant in here. So if we do hit a cactus or something, it will self seal. We're gonna be using orange seal endurance sealant. So we're putting it in a tube, even though it's tubeless sealant, just in case we hit any cactus or glass or anything this should plug the puncture immediately there's not a big selection of 16 inch plus tires in the world so you gotta make do with what you got i don't feel like these are going to be the world's best tires but they'll work fine for carrying a kid across a dirt road with sealant in the tire we're now ready to swap these out just push that quick release and while we're here this suspension can be adjusted into five different positions depending on how heavy the load is. Now we only have one kit and some gear so I'm going to put it on position three right in the middle. Then we pop this in there and we're ready to go. There is a tiny bit of clearance in there, not a whole lot. I'd love something that spaces this out an inch to get a 20 inch wheel up there. There are a lot of 20 inch plus tires and tubeless rims available, so I would love to have that option. Interestingly enough, these are the same as a wheelchair push button quick release wheelchair. So I'm going to see if I can experiment and find a longer spindle that will push the axle out a little bit more than I could fit 20 inches on there. That'd be a fun experiment and a cool way to get a true tubeless setup on here and a softer ride and a little less worry in the back country. Now these trailers aren't <laughs> meant for bikepacking and taking it hundreds of miles away from civilization. So we're kind of pushing what this thing was designed for, but that's how we're going to use it. And this is why we got it. We're also going to put the 16 plus kit on the Coho XC, which is cool because this normally has a 16 inch tire and on 20 inch. So this actually gives it a little more ground clearance and it's going to be meatier back there. Another thing I'd love to see for hardcore travel is this thing with the through axle bolt, which I know would increase costs and make things crazier. And for most people using this, they're going to be fine with these sliding dropouts. But I just like, I think there are a few modifications I would change to it for heavy duty backcountry use. But cool, that fits. We've got clearance in there. It may rub on this at complete bottom out. I hope we don't find complete bottom out, but we'll see. And this has suspension as well. And it does have a preload collar that you can adjust. I'm gonna leave it in the stock position. 
but the suspension should help keep the load from bouncing around too much and not provide a super rigid ride when we're going down the road. With the 16 plus tire kit and orange seal inside of them, we're ready for our trip. I have high hopes. This is constructed really well. It's really sturdy and it's a cool design. I think the tires and wheels fall a little bit short. I'll see if I can find a solution for that, but who knows, they may be perfect. Now we need to put the connectors on our bike to connect the trailers to the bike. I'm actually building a dedicated bike packing rig and the parts aren't here yet. So I'm gonna be taking my regular hardtail on this trip. And the idea is to do minimal amount of work to get this ready for the trip. So I'm lubing my chain right now. And uh, to get this ready to accept the trailer, I need to swap the axle out. This is the Burley balls through axle because it has balls on each end that clip into the Coho XC trailer. So let me show you how that works. You, you get on Burley's website, you do some measurements of the thread pitch and the width of your hub, and then you can purchase the appropriate axle for your bike. They have axles that fit 142. They have axles that fit 148, which is boost. They have axles that also fit the fat bike standard. So there's quite a few options there. We have a 148 axle on this. So we replace our stock axle with the balls axle. And if you did all your measurements right and your thread pitch and all that, you will have this pop through. And these require a 17 mil wrench, unfortunately. Unfortunately, because I don't carry that on the trail with me, I'd much prefer a Allen key. All right. So the rear part of your bike is going to be a little bit wider than normal. Looks like these are replaceable too if they ever do get munched up, but the trailer is going to click on here. All right, now we're ready to connect the Coho XC to my bike. This is super easy. They've got a adjustable kickstand for different heights, but I just pick it up, set this over the balls, axle, and it's clicked in. To remove it, I've got a quick release here and I just pull it off that way. So super, super simple to attach and detach. I'm gonna adjust the kickstand a little higher so that it will hold my bike up. This is the hitch for the Cub X. I'm gonna put this on my bike now. So we just slide this on like so, and we'll just thread this back in. Just wanna make sure this is positioned well. Where I tighten it. All right, now that we've got the hitch on, let's get this trailer hooked up. Super easy. Pop this in here. It's got one of these pins. That's gonna go through there. Lock it in at the bottom. I've got this safety strap. I wanna make sure that this is snug and doesn't have any slack because I do not want it touching my rotor. We're almost ready to go. Last step is to load up our trailers. Now one really nice thing about the trailers is we can take stuff that would never fit backpacking like this three-man tent. I could never fit that on a bike. The downside is it makes things heavier. It's pretty cool it's got these little water bottle mounts on the back. I like water bottles a little more than bladders because I can watch and monitor how much water I've drank. With a bladder it's hard to know if I've had two cups or if I'm almost out. This thing is all loaded up. Those are all my tools. And then we've got this cool little cargo net over the top. It's gonna take some getting used to, maybe shift the weight around a little bit more, see how it rides better. I've hear, I have hear the heavier things in the back by the wheel tend to ride a little bit better. But it's all part of the experiment. So I'm all loaded up, ready to go. Let's go see what Tess has going on. I've got this nice trunk space in the back of this trailer and it's situated right over the axle. So if I put stuff up here, um, that's a good place to put some heavy things. So I'm gonna load up water and got sleeping bags, sleeping mats, and nighttime clothes, cooking things, yeah. 
all that fun stuff. You gonna help? Thank you. Right. We don't want to forget the snacks. We've got lots and lots of snacks that will go up here so we can keep the baby topped off. Got a couple of cook pots left, so maybe we'll stuff these in Steve's, but we're pretty much loaded, ready to go. There you go, that's how we've prepped for this bike packing trip. We're excited to take the little one out for this kind of trip for the first time. Thanks for watching. Get dusty.